After the end of the First World War, the world was in need of new, durable, and powerful vehicles, machines capable of meeting the demands of a new era. One such creation was the peerless armored truck, a symbol of post-war military engineering and determination. But this vehicle's story began even earlier. During the war, 16 American peerless trucks were converted by the British into primitive armored cars. These early models had open tops, were armed with a pom-pom gun and a machine gun, and were delivered to the British Army in 1915. Some were also supplied to the Russian Imperial Army and used as self-propelled anti-aircraft platforms. Following the war, worn-out vehicles needed to be replaced. In 1919, a new design was introduced, the Peerless Armored Car. Built on a robust three-ton Peerless truck chassis, it featured a specially designed armored body manufactured by Austin Motor Company, a British firm experienced in building military vehicles, especially for the Russian market. The final vehicle looked formidable. It weighed 6.9 metric tons, with a length of 6.12 meters, a width of 2.23 meters, and a height of 2.77 meters. It was operated by a crew of four. The armor thickness reached up to 10 millimeters, providing basic protection against small arms fire and shrapnel. The Peerless was equipped with two 7.7 millimeter Hotchkiss machine guns, positioned for effective multi-angle fire. One of its clever engineering features was a duplicated set of controls at the rear, allowing the driver to operate the vehicle in reverse without turning it around, an important advantage in narrow or urban environments. Power came from a peerless petrol engine delivering 40 horsepower. With a total mass of nearly seven tons, that resulted in a modest power to weight ratio of 5.8 horsepower per ton. The rear wheels were powered through a chain-driven transmission, and the maximum speed was 25 kilometers per hour. The vehicle had an operational range of 145 kilometers. Though not fast, the Peerless was praised for its reliability, thanks to its solid rubber tires and heavy-duty construction. Its slow but steady movement earned it the nickname Armored Tortoise, a beast that could withstand the battlefield even if it could not race across it. Interestingly, the armored body built by Austin was originally designed for a shorter chassis. As a result, the combination with the longer peerless frame made the vehicle somewhat awkward to maneuver in tight spaces. Nevertheless, it was used in limited numbers for military police, colonial duties, and strategic facility protection in post-war Europe. The peerless armored truck was more than just a military machine. It was a transitional design between the old and new worlds of mechanized warfare. It connected the slow, heavily armored vehicles of World War I with the faster, more versatile machines that would dominate later conflicts. If you enjoyed this story, do not forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon, and leave a comment. More rare machines, forgotten history, and incredible engineering await in upcoming videos. Stay tuned.